Hi everyone, it's Dayla Doll here. For those of you who don't know me, I am a multimedia content creator who specializes in cosplay, crafting, uh, writing, and basically any type of artsy nerd stuff that you can think of. Um, and for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I made my homemade prosthetic for my Azami Kiritani cosplay. Azami is a character from Genji Ito's Uzumaki um, graphic novel. And here is the prosthetic. And I will probably edit in a picture of the cosplay and the reference picture so you guys can see it. Uh, yeah. But I'm just going to show you how I made this thing. And uh, I hope that you like it. So let's get into it. So I started off making um, the mold for my prosthetic by sculpting some air dry clay that I got from Walmart. It's like five dollars for a huge tub and you really don't need that much so I was just making like the base shape making sure that um it was the right size I kind of like put it up to my head basically to make sure it was what I wanted before I started uh flattening it out and I'm just using I'm building it on a paper plate it's pretty basic and I made my little eyeball and then I got some water to like smooth out all those lumps you're basically just dipping your finger in the water and then using it to smooth out the clay so that it looks good. Then I also used the water and a little bit more clay to attach my eyeball piece and the little groove that you can see there. And then smoothed it out and make sure everything made sure everything was connected with more water. After that, I grabbed this little like ballpoint end tool and very carefully started making the swirls for the Uzumaki pattern. This is basically like, um, it has like a ballpoint on the end. You use it to do nails and stuff, but I use it to do all sorts of things. So yeah, this is just me carefully sculpting the pattern. You want to make it deep enough so that, um, the imprint will be visible on the latex that you're going to brush over it, but not so deep that you're like cutting through the clay. So that is what my mold looks like, and I'm ready to brush on my latex. Oh wait, first I put on, sorry, first I brushed some um, Maron powder on it to make sure that the latex doesn't stick too much to the mold during the removal process. So yeah, I just used the powder and a fluffy brush. Now I'm ready to put on my latex. And this was just basic liquid latex that I also grabbed from Walmart from the Halloween section. And I used a regular paintbrush to um, brush my latex onto there. If you're going to use a paintbrush for this, I recommend dedicating it solely to doing like latex work because once the latex is on there, it's not coming off and so don't think you can use it for paint again because you, you really can't. And I would just do, I did I think a few, like two layers, brush it on, wait for it to dry, and then brush it on some more. And then once that was dry, I took some more latex and just added um, like some texture onto the raised portion of my Uzumaki. And you can see there, it's adding like different lumps and texture and things like that. And I was just using a Q-tip and a tiny paintbrush for this part. That way there's more variation between like the imprint of the swirl and then the outer portion. It looks more fleshy and gross if you ask me. Then I'm putting um, some latex on the edges to make the edges like thin for where I'm gonna attach it to my wig and my face. And then just adding in some more texture. So this is what um, the latex on top of my mold looks like so far, but I'm not peeling it off yet because I'm going to paint it first using just some regular acrylic paint. For the inner part of the swirl, I used, um, or I guess the indented part of the swirl, I used black matte um, acrylic paint and a tiny paintbrush. And that's what that looks like. And then next, I'm going to use some glossy white paint, and I used both a paintbrush and a sponge brush. I used the paintbrush for the eyeball portion, um, because I didn't want to press on it too hard. 
with the sponge brush and then when it was time to do the rest I went over it with my sponge brush just kind of pressing into it as you can see I'm just dipping it back in pressing it getting everything nice and covered then I did end up going back in um, with my black paint to kind of like redefine those black areas since the white paint covered them a bit and then I started doing the detail work on my eyeball which was honestly pretty fun and weirdly relaxing then I used my heat gun to dry those paint layers because I am impatient and I wanted everything to dry faster so I could keep going then in between um, layers, once everything was dry, I just kept going back in with more black paint to create some more definition and depth and things like that. And then checking my references, defining my eyeball a bit more. So that's what it looked like so far, but I still wanted some more detail, like I added the little shine. Um, to the eyeball using some white paint and then did some more little shinies and like reflections with the white paint on the eyeball. I also went in and touched other touched up some portions of my prosthetic with more paint. So this is how it was looking at this point. And I still felt like it looked too flat. Like I want more detail, so what I ended up doing here was, um, oh, first I took off, uh, I'm getting ahead of myself. First, I took off my mold, very carefully peeling it off. Or I took my thing off the mold. Oh my god, you guys know what I mean. I'm peeling it off of the mold. And that is what it looks like. It's very textured and cool, and I freaking love it. And then I touched it up with some more paint because I wanted more details. So I made, like, my black swirl lines a bit thicker. And I also went in on the textured portions and like very carefully dotted it with black paint just to make it stand out a bit more. And give it some more texture, more depth, all that good stuff. And I didn't use a lot. I would like dip the brush and then wipe it on something and then go over the white parts. That way it didn't completely blacken them up. As you can see here. And that's pretty much it. And then it was um ready to be applied. And once everything was done, I just applied it using some liquid latex and a q-tip, and that is it. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you have any cosplay suggestions for me or any comments, drop them down below. And you can also subscribe to me on um, OnlyFans or Patreon, where I post exclusive content. And that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.